I share these with you as snippets of what is possible. I think one of our responsibilities at Jackson Community College, certainly mine, is to help find the future. Find the future in terms of what our students need for education, in terms of their preparation for the workforce for transfer to baccalaureate granting institutions. I take these to you as snippets of what I'm finding out there, which have suggestions to me anyway about the kind of curricular needs that we have, the kind of skills that they need to have, the, the basic skills, mathematics, engineering, science, a lot of the critical components these individuals have to have. So it seems to me that our mind continues to focus on the here and now, but also an eye toward finding that future finding the future of helping individuals with reskilling and helping them to advance to critical thought. Who would have thought about these kinds of devices? I saw Minority Report, probably many of you did too, and I thought, hey, that's pretty cool, but here is someone who has translated that kind of idea, perhaps created the, the notion himself, and put it into a practical reality, cobbling, their, and she mentioned there, there are lots of bugs, but it is interesting that this kind of thought, this kind of forward view, future view, if you will, is actually occurring. And so for us, as people rely on us at Jackson Community College, we have an opportunity to prepare, prepare them for this kind of a future, to assist them in, in believing in themselves and having confidence where perhaps they've lost their job or they've been away from uh, college for a long time. Maybe our job, in addition to conveying information, is to understand also the curricular learning uh, uh, components as well, that they understand that there is a world that is desperately needing them in so many ways, and we give them the leg up here at Jackson Community College, which I think is, which I think is pretty exciting. So it is, our impor it is important for us to make sure that we are helping them to adapt to a changing world. You know, I, my father said to, to me last time I was home, so he said, Dan, what do you know? And I said, less and less every day. <laughs> Knowledge is doubling now uh, about every three and a half to four years. So truly, we are becoming less and less relevant as more and more information becomes available. And uh, I think it's important that we try to maintain a degree of relevance by giving people an understanding of what's out there, asking them, what's interesting, what excites you? And what would you be interested in studying and learning more about? And positioning Jackson Community College as best we can for that future and assisting them. So that's what I wanted to be able to share with you there. Um, next slide, Amanda. I wanted to share with you a, a lesson from the wild. And I share this with you uh, because of a lesson that we can learn about a changing dynamic. So watch with me, if you will, please. One of the things that I wanted to be able to do for you is not only provide this as an opportunity to share with you information about what's happening at JCC, but this is also a learning opportunity. So for the biologists in the room, you probably already knew that. I did not. Uh, but it is uh, very powerfully explaining the importance for us to be open to change, be open to those possibilities, and know that it is difficult, in this particular case, very painful. And sometimes for us, that may feel very painful as well as we try to make change. But I am convinced, based on what we're seeing today and what is projected out to the future, that this dynamic is very real, that the models that got us to this point operationally, curricularly, whatever, that those models are, are in need of review and perhaps modification and change. I am clearly convinced that the business models that brought us to this point in time are not the business models that are going to get us uh, well into the future as we meet the changing dynamic of the globe. Uh, it's true for our students. It's true for organizations as well. And I share this with you as a way of helping, from a very practical way, the change that we feel as employees of this community college, uh, citizens of this state and this country, that we also are empathetic with students who are dealing with a lot more change, perhaps, in their life and helping them understand. We have a point of empathy, if you will, to help them meet those, uh, those new challenges in their life. So uh, we, uh, we seek to uh, find this future and help them understand this changing workplace and and hopefully, through your, your good care and counsel and assistance and our interaction, 